What's the craziest thing you've seen at a party? Has it been someone jumping off of a three-story building? Is it someone, you know, butt chugging an entire keg of beer? You know, everyone's got their own crazy little party stories. But for my crazy party story, I got to manhandle a bazooka. So it was pre-COVID time, a beautiful, a different time where everyone would hug each other, get close, and you know, sometimes we'd even share drinks and split a spliff, you know, the fun days, different times. I remember this one time I was getting out of work, it was around 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I got invited to this party. I was I was coming in pretty late for the party and I had to go to work in the morning so I just wanted to say hey kick it have a have a drink or two and just you know go home and start the day fresh. I get out of work, I head over to the party and knock on the door and it just it begins. It's a normal party. It's just a normal hangout. Everyone's having a good time. One of one of my buddies is snorting tequila off a cutting board. We're all just, you know, doing normal party stuff. And soon comes the time where one of these guys, he looks at us and he says, can, can you keep, keep a secret? Because if you can, I got something to show you. Obviously, we're all going to say, yeah, we're all really good at keeping secrets. All of us. Guy brings us out to the backyard, brings us to the side of the house and he pulls up this uh, potato sack. I'm looking at it weird. I'm like, well, what's in the potato sack? I... I for love of me, couldn't think of what it was. And he removes the potato sack in the most grand fashion ever. He flings it to the side, and lo and behold, sitting on the ground next to this house is a big old green bazooka. Now, I wasn't expecting this. I, I was expecting something else. I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't just a big a old green <laughs> So this guy looks at me and one well, of my buddies says, you want to hold it? Buddy instantly, hell yeah, hold, he wants to hold it. He's, he's determined to hold this thing. He wants to hold this thing. The guy picks up the bazooka, helps him like put, put it on him. So it's kind of like, like this kind of thing or something like that. It's something along those lines. There's like a, there's like a little button or something on, instead of like a, a trigger. Luckily it was unloaded, so because he was like, you know, that would suck, you know, we'll just blow the whole place up, you know, it holds it, and he's like, man, I feel pretty manly right now. I was like, okay, I gotta try it, I gotta hold this thing. I've never been in the military, I've only done ROTC in high school, but even then we didn't really hold, like, uh, rocket launchers or anything like that, so being just a normal civilian, holding this thing just in someone's yard was kind of the craziest thing to me ever, and as I begin to put it on, you know, put it on my shoulder, get it all like set and stuff, I can tell you, the family jewels dropped three levels that day, or what? what is it, like, like, like the Grinch, you know, his heart grew five, like three times that day, it's like my, my balls just dropped three times that day. Because I've never felt so manly before in my life. That was the most powerful thing that I've ever felt. I was like, yeah, this is it. I've, I've got, got the, the gun. gun. I didn't even know how to how to describe what I was feeling. It was just like I felt tough. It was this weird feeling of like, wow, this is cool. And holy shit, this is scary. You know, what if it was loaded kind of thing. Craziest thing ever. And so I was like, okay. You know, put it down. We're all, we all go back to drinking and stuff like that. Things going normal. It's just us chilling. And as a last as a last hurrah right before I leave, this guy comes out. There's a big old light facing like a like one of those like like very bright like construction lights. It was pointed at the wall. And so as his last hurrah, what he does is that he grabs the bazooka and he puts it you know, he does he does what every guy does, you know, with something long and erect. He puts it on his junk and he just has it like this. He's just holding it. Um, I, I'll probably have a photo like right here because <laughs> I've got the photo of it. It's a little blurry because it was nighttime. But just, it was like the dumbest thing ever. And I knew at that point that we're all just kind of dumb. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this. I was planning to have another video yesterday, but it didn't turn out the way that I wanted to, so I just kind of scrapped it. 
and I'm trying to make a couple new videos today so I can stay on track and everything but you know I want to throw out something short nice little story one of my favorite stories personally and you know I'll see what tomorrow brings I uh, hope you're having a great day or great day great week great life and I will see you in the next video Thank you.